Hey guys, and welcome back to another PyQt5 tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about containers and changing some colors and some other stuff in PyQt Designer. We're not going to be working with any code today. I'm just going to be showing you some cool stuff in here. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first two things I want to show you guys are containers. Now the two containers that I'm going to show today are group boxes and frames. So I'm just going to drag a group box in here to demonstrate how this works and what it is. Essentially what these do are allow you to apply properties or attributes or whatever you want to call them to all of the widgets that are inside of the container. Now that means that say you want to have a bunch of labels that all share the same properties or attributes, maybe they have the same text size, the same color, but you don't want to have to change all of them individually. What you can do is use something like a group box set the property on the group box and then start dragging those widgets into the group box and they will inherit that property. If you're confused, just give me a second. And I'll show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is just go into this group box here, which I've dragged in and change the text size to be 48. So you can see nice and large and I can go ahead and change this title and maybe I'll just say group like that. Now, if I drag a label in and I don't put it inside the group box, you can see that it by default starts at size eight, right? And it's nice and small. Now, if I take a fresh label, so let's grab one here and drag it inside of the group box, immediately it has that text size applied to it because it's inside that group box. So this might not seem super useful right now, but when you have a ton of different widgets and you're adding and removing them constantly from the screen, it's really nice to be able to just add them into a group box and have all the styling and all of the properties applied to them automatically. So that's kind of the advantage of doing that. Now this works the exact same with the frame. The only difference with a frame is it doesn't have this title at the top and this little line. So it's more subtle and you don't notice it or you, you actually, it's impossible to see because it doesn't show up on the screen. So you see it, it gives us some like dotted lines right now. But if I go and just preview this, you don't see anything. Whereas with the group box, if I drag one here and let's go ahead and preview this, you do actually see those lines and you see that group box. So those are the main differences, but these are the exact same in the way that they actually work. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the group box. Now, what I'm going to do here is just show you kind of how to add a few things into here and make them, I don't know, a little more customized. So what I'm going to do here is just name this labels and we're just going to add a bunch of labels in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just center this text, which is something you probably want to do quite often. And to do that, if I go down to alignment here, I can change the horizontal alignment to align H center. Now that's going to put that in the middle for me. Now, if I want to change the font size, which I do, I'm going to change that to 22. I'm going to make that bold. And actually let's look for another font that maybe I like better. Let's use, I don't know that. All right, so that's going to be our font for this. Now, what I'm going to do is also change the color of this font and show you how to do that. So it applies to all of the other labels. And you know what? Let's rename this red labels. All right. So to change the color, what we do is we look for something called palette, which should be right above the font. And rather than choosing inherited, what we're going to do is say change palette. Now, this is where you can change all of the kind of color schemes for your program. Now, what I'm doing is just changing all of the color sch schemes inside of this group box here. But if you wanted to change them for the entire project, then what you would do is simply click on this main window here, go to change palette and then change that as well. Now, anyways, what I'm going to do is just quickly change this color scheme to be green. So if I click OK, and then you can see that it shows kind of the differences and what things are going to look like here. Now, if I want to change the text color, what I can do is go and find text color, which should be window text. And rather than having it black, maybe I'll change that to red. All right. So now you can see that the text for my radio buttons down here, it's kind of giving you a preview has changed to red. Um, and that is kind of how that works. So if I go ahead and click OK, now you can see that this changes to red. And if I go to and try to drag in any labels here, we get a red label and we can see red label like that. Now, let's say you want to have a bunch of red labels. So let's drag a bunch in here just as an example. But there's one label that you don't want to be red. You want to have its own properties. It wants to change its color. Well, to do that is really easy. All you have to do is just specifically change that label and it won't affect anything else in the group box. So what I can do is just go to change palette for this label, go to window text, change that to black. And then you can see that this got 
go ahead and changes to black as well. And that's kind of all it is, all there is to containers and working with them. Again, the frame works the exact same way, except you can't see it. And just a quick note here, you can actually put group boxes inside of group boxes, and I'll demonstrate how that works really quickly. So if I put another group box in here, you can see that immediately it inherits the properties from this one. The only thing is it doesn't inherit that palette property, but that's fine because we can go ahead and change that nice and easily in here. So if I change this palette and I change the window text, I don't know, let's go to this color. Um, now you can see this group box is going to change to that. And if I go and try to put a button in here, then you can see that we get a button um, and it has that same text property and all of that. Now, for some reason, sometimes the colors don't inherit. They work for the label, but I guess for the button, the color scheme doesn't quite work or I have to change the palette even more in here. So if I change palette, I go to oh button text. That's probably why and change that maybe to red. Now you can see that this button is going to get that red text and I can throw another button in that one gets red text. And if I throw a button over here, it still keeps this black text because we didn't change that in this main group box. So you can kind of see how those are useful and how you go about using them. It's nicer when you're actually dynamically adding things from code into the window, which I'll probably do in a later tutorial. But that's kind of it for group boxes and frames. Just wanted to introduce you to those. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and I'll see you in another PyQt5 tutorial.